Hello everyone, today I have a custom LEGO minifigure review from Eclipse Graphics, or Eclipse Bricks. Uh, link will be down below, of course, and be sure to check out my other videos right up here. Uh, really quick, I just want to say thank you for 500 subscribers, or over 500 now, but I, I'm greatly appreciated of that. Thanks for all the support, and thank you everyone who has subscribed and has supported since the, uh, day one. Um, now we're on the road to 1,000. I'm just going to kind of skip ahead, and just, we're going to 1,000, so let's get there quick. Uh, now let's get to the minifigures. I got, uh, again, the Eclipse Graphics minifigures. These are their Walking Dead ones, or Dead Inside series. I got the five of them that they have. Really quick, though. Uh, a sticker, of course, which, you know, I like. And uh, it's the same sticker, I think, every time. But you can't have too many stickers. And then I got these in February. So uh, if you ordered any time in February, I think, and if you, sp or you spent a certain amount, you got a little free gift. And it's a little, uh, it's a 2x4 flat uh, piece. And it says, Happy Valentine's Day. It's got Cupid on there, a bunch of hearts. He's ready to shoot an arrow and make some people fall in love. So, nice little freebie to have. Set that over to the side. So, first minifigure. Again, packaging is pretty simple. Uh, Dead Inside series right here. And this is the deputy, which it doesn't say on the packaging, but that's who this is. And then the back, uh, again, uh, they say all the same thing, so really quick, if you want to pause it here to read it, you can. I'll hold it really quick. And then, um, so those say all the same thing on the back. Packaging, again, is pretty simple, but uh, it does the job. Let's open them right up. So again, these are minifigures based off of the TV show The Walking Dead. And this one, of course, is the deputy, which is based off of Rick. This one's more from like season 3 and 4, maybe a little bit into 5, but he doesn't have the big jacket. So I'd say 3 and 4, he kind of let the, the sheriff gig kind of go. Uh, first looks, looks great, as always, printing looks great. But here he is, here's the deputy. Um, in this season, you know, you can tell he's got the long beard, his hair is getting longer, it's, you know, quite some time has gone by. I think they were at the prison at this time. Again, I really like the beard design. Looks nice. Uh, he's kind of got, you know, a smug look. Kind of, you know, the, the oh, where's Coral? Coral. You know. Coming down to his chest and torso, you can see he's got his tan long sleeve shirt on. Two pockets on the front collar. It's buttoned up. It's uh, darker near the uh, neck or collarbone area. You can see there's a little splotch right here. Maybe some dirt or sweat. You can see designs to the, the shirt. Really nice. I think it's a sheriff shirt. Um, coming down to the waist and legs, you can see he's got the belt buckle. That's about it for the legs. No printing down here. No printing on the sides. Printing on the back, uh, none at all. It's a pretty simple minifig. And then he does come with his uh, 357 Magnum Python, which is a Brick Arms revolver. And he comes with a Brick Arms uh, little combat knife. So first minifigure, good. It's Rick from, you know, Walking Dead, and I, you know how I love The Walking Dead. Now, the next one is, of course, the Notorious Coral. And that's actually what they named on the website, so this is The Coral. Again, packaging is the same, same on the back. Let's just bust him out. That's gone, save that. Really quick, I do want to show his brick arms before anything, or the, his weapon at least. This is a custom made brick arms, and as you can see, it's the M9 pistol, but it's got the baseball bat suppressor, which only comes with him, or I think you can get this on their website, but I got it, you know, I got it with him, and that, again, I think season three or season four, when he shoots the kid with this, that's when this is really shown, and I think it comes off, so there's actually a hole in the end of the barrel, or actually, technically, that would be the barrel. Hole in the end of the gun, and then you can see the baseball bat part has a little piece. You just want to be ever so slightly, push it in all the way, and you got Coral's suppressed baseball bat gun. That's a really awesome um, uh, Brick Arms gun to have from them. So again, Season 3, Season 4, Season 5, Coral, you know. He does come with the hat, I just want to take it off to show his face a little more. You can see he's got the freckles on the cheeks, pretty simple face design, it looks like Carl. Uh, you could add long hair to him to make him a little more fitting, but he does come with the hat. Coming down to his chest and torso, you can see he's got his uh, jacket on. It's a little fuzzy collar, you can see he's got a t-shirt on underneath with the bear crawl. <clears throat> and you can see there's some wrinkles in the shirt. Skin showing at the neck, pockets on the front. 
really nice minifig. One thing I really like is... Wait, do his legs move? Oh, no way! He's got movable legs! These are custom for sure, then. Because Lego does not make movable legs. Look at that! I've never seen these before. That's so cool! Sorry, I'm super excited about that. That's awesome. So he's got movable legs. This is when he's really a kid. You can see he's got a belt, belt buckle, belt loops on it, pockets, and then his little feet with the shoes. That's awesome. Stubby little legs. That's so cool. I think these are a little smaller than traditional Lego legs that don't move. But the moving ones, that's awesome. No printing on the sides. And then printing on the back is just the back of the jacket. Wrinkles in it. See the collar at the front, uh, top. Little holes in the back of the legs. That's so cool. That's awesome. So that's the Coral. Or the Carl. Carl, you know, Rick's son. And he's got his gun. So that's awesome. Let's see if he fits into... Um, yeah, he does. He fits into the Lego base plate. Sticks out just a tiny bit. But he's on there. Next one we'll do is another main character. And this, of course, is the Archer. Focuses, focus, focus. There we go. So this is the Archer. Again, packaging is the same. Open him right up. And this one, um, again, his name's the Archer, and he's based off of uh, uh, Daryl from The Walking Dead, the TV show, not the comics. He comes with a traditional Lego crossbow in the gunmetal gray. And then a Brick Arms Combat Knife in Silver. Daryl Dixon, that's his full name, is Daryl Dixon. So no printing on the back of the head. So this one would be about, he's got the jacket on. So um, later on, Season 3, Season 4, maybe Season 5 into that one. Uh, starting at his face though, you can see he's got the mustache goatee. You can see some jaw or cheekbone... Um, detailing to it kinda has some dark rings around the eyes looks tired looks beat up take off the hair really quick there we go oh, he looks weird bald but it does look like Daryl he's got the long hair so I'd say about uh, you know three or four into five maybe five or six <laughs> I don't know there's a lot of seasons now can't keep track I do remember him although coming down the chest and torso again he's got his black jacket on He's got a uh, tan vest underneath, and then he's got the blue shirt underneath all that. You can see buttons on it really nice on, uh, on the vest and on the t-shirt underneath. Collars at the top, skin showing up there. Pockets on the jacket. Nice printing. Coming down to the waist and legs, you can see he's got a belt, belt buckle, belt loops. Pockets on the pants. He does have a hole at the knee. And there are some scuffs and scrapes and like some dirt on there, it looks like. You can see he does have detail at the crotch. Uh, printing on the feet as well for his boots. No printing on the sides. And then printing of the back of the midfinger. He has the wings on the back of his jacket. Which are nice. And then printing at the back of the waist is the belt with belt loops. And then printing on the legs. You can see just some more dirt. Simple minifig, but again, gets the point across. I like him a lot. Can never be disappointed at some Walking Dead minifigures. Give him his weapons. And that is the Archer. We got two more left. Another main character, of course, is going to be... What's her name? I know the, her minifig name, but... This is the Firecracker, and it says Season 5, so that helps me out. This is Carol from The Walking Dead, and this is, of course, it says Season 5. It's the beginning of Season 5. It's when they go to Terminus, and a spoiler alert, or what you, if you want to click away or whatever you want to do, fast forward a few. Gave you the spoiler alert. She saves Rick and the group from the uh, Terminus, which are the cannibals at the train station. And so she covers her face in blood. And her poncho kind of thing in blood. She does what they do in Season 1 when Rick and Glenn have to get out of there. And uh, so that's that. Now we'll get back into the minifig. She does come with the Brick Arms Combat Knife in silver. And her sniper rifle that looks exactly like from the show. Don't know the name of this Brick Arms one. 
It does have the bipod on there. So she does have a double sided face. So we'll show her like she is right now, all bloodied up with the poncho. And you can see she's got her, her gray hair, blood on her face. You can see her eyebrows are gray, light blue eyes, I believe. You can see there's, um, sorry, focus. There's some wrinkles around her mouth. You can see she does have her uh, lips or lipstick kind of look. Uh, on the To the poncho, you can see the blood splatters on there, really nice. It looks really, really detailed. And on the back, you can see all the blood. That's probably one of my favorite accessories on a character, is this poncho that I just dropped. So again, she does have detailing on her knee, so we're going to take off her poncho. And we're going to get her all cleaned up. And here is Carol. So this would be her normal look. You can see no blood on the face. You can see her face a little more. And then coming down to her chest and torso, you can see you can see um, up at her neck. And then her shirt has some uh, buttons or I don't know what the string right there it looks like. You can see she has a jacket on over all this. She has her signature knife. It's the knuckle. The, um, the knuckle, I think, think uh, what are they called? Brass knuckle kind of uh, knife. You hold, you know, you have the holder for the fingers. You can punch with it or stab with it. That's pretty much her signature knife in the show. That's a nice detail in there. Coming on to her legs and waist, you can see belt, belt buckle, and the belt loops. Pockets at the uh, upper legs. You can see she has boots on, blood on her uh, feet. Coming to the side, no printing on the uh, arms or torso, but there is printing on the side of the legs. You can see pocket, blood on the pants, and then in, tucked into the boots. And then same as this side. And then to the back, she has a backpack on. And you can see nice detailing on that. Wrinkles in the bottom of the jacket. Then to the back of the legs, you can see her boots are printed on, and there's more blood splatters and some dirt. You can see a little bit of the blood on the back of the head right there. So really nice, awesome minifig. Throw her poncho really quick back on. Because I like that look. Get her the blood face. There we go. We're going to give her her weapons. And she is ready to save the day. So that's an awesome minifig that they, they make. So much detail on this one. Now for the last minifigure. This one is season 4-ish to 5. The character at least. And this one is Morgan. Let me get him out. And he is the Zen Warrior on their website. So he kind of was uh, tripping a little bit in the show at one point and kind of crazy. There was some stuff happened to him. Uh, he met Rick season one. He does come with the Brick Arms M9. Again, he met Rick around, see, it was season one. He actually saved Rick's life. And here he is. He's got a nice uh, custom hood detail. That's amazing. I will take it off really quick. Pop the head out. He is bald in the show, so it makes sense. He does come with the walking stick, too. But this is Morgan. Again, around season 4 end to 5 start, or 4, 5 start, I can't remember. Kind of goes crazy, so that's why he's the Zen Warrior at this point. You can see he's got the beard going on. Wrinkles in the forehead. He's kind of got a mean look. He's an amazing character in the show. He's done a lot. Coming on to his chest and torso, you can see he's got a hoodie on, backpack straps over the shoulders. You can see he has uh, like a scarf or uh, something to cover his face up. Pockets on the hoodie or jacket. You can see a string from the jacket. That's awesome. Those little details. Uh, coming down to the waist and legs, you can see he's got the belt, belt buckle, belt loops, of course. He's got his knee pads on, pockets on the upper pants. Again, the knee pads are strapped around the lower legs. You can see some dirt under there. And then the boots. I really like that knee pad design. No printing on the side. Printing on the back is his backpack. Same backpack design as Carol, but there's no detailing underneath at the bottom of the jacket. And then no printing on the back of the legs. And then we'll put his, um, his hoodie back on, or his hood. 
this is a crazy piece. So how you do this, you want to put it on and then line the head up the way you want it and then put it on and then you want to push down a little more and it sticks on there. So that is the Zen Warrior which is Morgan from the show. Give him his weapons. Oh, that's a little loose. It's kind of sad. Oh, it holds the brick arm really well, though. There we go. So, Zen Warrior is Morgan. Really happy with these minifigures. Eclipse Graphics did a great job on these ones. Again, they're Walking Dead. Couldn't be disappointed in them. Throw the stuff back here. Again, if you want to check any of them out, links will be down below, of course, for the, the Deputy, the Coral, the Archer, the Firecracker, and Zen Warrior. And be sure to check out my other Eclipse Graphic videos right up here, or links will be down below. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Again, thank you so much for over 500 subscribers, and as always, thanks for watching.